everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're taking a look at a set of 120 coloured pencils made by Castle Arts, a company based in Newcastle upon Tyne in the northeast of England. This is the maximum set of 120 and there's a smaller selection of 72 available, as well as 24 piece themed sets such as landscape and botanical and even artist themed tins too. The packaging consists of a metal tin with three layers of plastic trays to hold the pencils. There's a thin foam insert to pad out the lid a little, but it doesn't cover the whole layer, which is slightly odd. Castle Arts have included a booklet featuring other art supplies they sell and the colour range, as well as helpful and considerate guide to drawing and colouring the castle featured on the tin. The pencils are very lightweight and have a round barrel with a matte black finish. Their ends are dipped in the colour of the core, but I'd recommend swatching them as it doesn't always match the pigment colour that well. The core is 3.8mm, which is as thick as a polychromos pencil, so it should be nice and strong. Each pencil has a name and number for charting purposes, but do watch out as I found that two pencils of the same name were included in my set, even though they're clearly different colours and do have different numbers as well. It's not the first time I've heard of printing irregularities with these pencils, so just keep an eye out in your set. I sharpened all the pencils on arrival, as you should always do, to remove any factory coating on there, and not a single pencil broke, so I know they're strong. The only thing I could say is the wood felt very rough when sharpening. I use an electric sharpener which normally slices through wood like butter, but these pencils were actually slowing the motor down as if it was struggling to chew through them. As I say though, I had no breakages so I can't complain, just putting that out there. The colours are great. I would say though that a few of the colours in the yellow, orange, pink and blue ranges are quite similar to each other and probably could be switched out for more browns and greys, which I feel this set is lacking. The colours are all really vibrant, perfect for colouring florals and botanics, and there's plenty of skin tones here too, leaning more on the warm side of the palette with the ochres and corals. As for the most important thing, the application, they're lovely pencils to use. The core is mainly wax based, so they have a softness akin to Derwent Colour Soft pencils, in my opinion, if you're looking for a comparison. They lay down pigment smoothly without the need for huge amounts of pressure, and they blend beautifully together without the need for extra blending tools. In terms of softness, I'd put them between a Prismacolor and a Polychromos, leaning more toward the poly as the core has a firmness to it that's the opposite of the crumbling Prismacolor. However, they don't require layering like polychromos, so you can use firm pressure straight off the bat and they're strong enough to stand up to it. They layer well too, I managed to get six layers out of them without experiencing any wax buildup, but I'd say that is the maximum you could probably go. The binder breaks down well using mineral spirits, and the pencils also play well with blender pencils and burnishing with white. There's barely any debris or dust and they don't smudge much at all, so it's everything you'd expect from a hard lead, but with the softness you can only get from a wax predominant binder. The white isn't as soft as I'd like. As you can see on black, it doesn't compete with Prisma, Polychromos or Luminance in the opacity test, but then it is wrong to compare them to high-end artist pencils because they're not in the same category. It's helpful to see how it shows up on black though. So as I said, these pencils aren't high-end, which is reflected in the price. This set is currently selling at £48, which is about $60. US That makes each pencil around 40 pence or 50 cents. Unfortunately, they're not available open stock. All the links to buy these pencils will be in the description box below. I hope I've answered all your questions, but if not, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.